this video, we're going to have a look at how to get started with Instalod Studio Excel. Instalod Studio Excel is Instalod's standalone application that enables powerful mesh processing and enterprise workflows. The first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and create a profile so we can apply some mesh operations to our objects. To do that, I'm going to jump to File, Create a New Profile, and now I'm going to rename this to Demo. Now on the right hand side we can see we've got our mesh operation settings. So everything from the optimizer to remeshing, imposterizing, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and import an asset. Alright, so here we've got a character made up of six different objects making up 130,000 polygons. Now I'm going to start off by creating some LODs. To do this, I'm going to go into my mesh operations and add an entry. I'm going to name this entry LOD1. Then I'm going to go into the entry. And we can see that this is by default set to 50%, which is fine for this case. Then I'm going to add another entry for LOD2. Now this entry, I want to set down the percentage to 25%. Then I'll go and add a final entry, which I'll call LOD3. And this one, I'm going to set down to 12.5%. Now to finish this off, I'm going to go back to my default mesh operation. I'm going to double click and rename this one as LOD0. Now for LOD0, I want to have 100% of my original mesh. I'm going to type in 100, click enter, and there we go. So with all of that done, I'm now going to go to my start button, select that. And the cool thing is that Enslot works asynchronically over all of the CPU cores. So creating a single LOD takes almost the same amount of time as creating four in this case. And we can see we are already done. So on the top, we can see we've now also got these tabs. If I hover my mouse over them, we can see that we toggle through them. I'm just going to select one and we can see that it then stays there. Now, visually, the model itself, well, there's hardly a difference really. But if we toggle through the individual tabs of our LODs, well, there's hardly a difference we can see. But on the polygonal count, there is definitely a big difference. And we can see that difference in the wireframe of our model as well. So a beautiful optimization that is really quick and easy to set up. For this next scene, I've gone ahead and created a new profile by going to File, New Profile. For this scene, we want to use the Remesh feature. With Instalod's Remesher, we want to do the complete reconstruction of this mesh. The fantastic thing is that Instar doesn't just do the reconstruction, but also creates UVs and bakes textures at the same time. In this case, our mesh actually has a hole, so we don't have any back faces in this case. And we don't want Instar to create any either when doing the reconstruction. So what I'm going to have to do is go to the surface construction and make sure that ignore back faces is ticked. The next step is for me to go into the UVs. I know in this case that a hard surface actual algorithm will do a fantastic job due to all of these angular surfaces. Finally, I want to use the fuzzy face count target. This will let Instalot figure out on its own what the best amount of polygons is to get a good reconstructed mesh. That way I don't have to worry about figuring out how many polygons I need. Finally, I'm going to go to my bake output and here we are making sure that we're baking out the normal map and the diffuse texture map, which in this case is called the custom material texture. With all of this set up, I'm going to go ahead and simply click start. Let's see how low we can go with Instalod. In this case, we are doing the complete reconstruction of the mesh. We are UV unwrapping the mesh as well and also baking textures. Instalod is also going to make sure that it doesn't create any back faces in the process. And there we go. From 600,000 polygons, we were able to do the reconstruction with just 7,000 faces. If I turn on the wireframe, we can see what's actually happened here. A beautiful reconstruction. And we can see that installed in this case, modeled right over all of the details and baked these instead. If we have a look at the UVs, we can see that right here, we now have usable UVs compared to the previous original version. And we've also baked out our textures, so we have our color and our normal map. Inside of the normal map, we can see that we've got all of the wrinkles, all of the details baked inside of here. 
So I hope that this gave you a good overview of Install Studio Excel. I definitely recommend you check out our other YouTube videos for more information and I hope to see you in the next one.